Hello everyone, this is C.J. May, or Cyril the Sorcerer, coming to you from my place of work at the Public Works Office in Waterbury, Connecticut. My job here as the Recycling Coordinator for the City of Waterbury, and as perhaps the world's first municipal magician, all stems from this month's theme of paper prestidigitation. It was more than a dozen years ago when I first met famed restaurant magician and mentalist Jim Sisti. I hadn't played with magic since I was a child, but Jim was very kind and began teaching me magic as we became friends. I was in awe of all the wonders that he shared with me, things that most of us would consider old standards, a bottle that disappears, or beads that jump off of a necklace. They were all wonders. But Jim did the greatest magic and changed my life on the day that he asked me what I did for a living. When I told him that I was the recycling coordinator at Yale University, Jim got a twinkle in his eye and he walked over to his coffee table and began picking up old pieces of newspaper. He said, if you like recycling, you're really going to like this. Now, many of you know where this is going to go. But as a person who was completely new to magic, I had no idea that Jim was going to pick up all these old scraps of paper, put them into his hand, and then with a flick of his wrist, make that old newspaper into new. I was floored, and my life was changed. Jim knocked into me the idea that magic could be used for something much more than for entertainment. Magic could be used to educate people about the wonders of recycling, which changes old paper into new paper, and about the wonders of so many other things. With Jim's help, I put together a show called Recycling is Magic, and I've been performing that now for more than a dozen years. It's led me to perform all sorts of recycling magic shows and magic shows about so many other things, energy, water, Magic can be used for many things, but I have to say that beginning my world of enviromagic, which is one of Jeff McBride's terms, all goes back to Jim Sisti, his kindness, the kindness of his wife for letting me into their house, and for showing me a small piece of paper prestidigitation. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Sandy. And thank all of you for keeping the magic going.